Hello and welcome to chapter three, section six. Today we are solving compound inequalities. So what do compound inequalities look like? For example, when they ask for all real numbers that are greater than two and less than six. So graphing greater than two and less than six, your graph looks something like that. All real numbers greater than or equal to two and less than or equal to six looks like this. All real numbers less than two or greater than six. So now we're at less than two or greater than six. So it can be between them or it can be excluding everything between them. Now, when do you come across this? Well, they start off with a word problem. A water analyst recommends that the pH level of swimming pool water be between 7.2 and 7.6 inclusive, which means it includes 7.2 and 7.6. So it's a it's an and equal to kind of situation. Write a compound inequality to show the pH levels that are within the recommended range. So you're going to be between 7.2 and 7.6 and 7.2 is going to be the least and 7.6 is going to be the greatest and P, the pH level, is going to be in between them and it's greater than or equal to, less than or equal to. And when you graph that, it looks like that. Try this on checkpoint number one on page 205 right now. Push pause and come right back. So they asked for chlorine levels to be between 1.0 and 3.0 inclusive. So that equation looks like this and it's graphed like this. So when you combine two like this, it's called an intersection, where two sections of a compound inequality overlap. So technically, we're looking at this inequality, which is greater than or equal to 7.2, and this inequality, which is less than or equal to 7.6. And this is where they overlap. That's the intersection. They're asking us to solve intersections now, and when you're given a problem like this, it's actually two problems to solve. You're going to look at this one and then this one. So we're going to solve 4 is less than or equal to x plus 2, and x plus 2 is less than or equal to 8. Two different things to solve. I'm going to subtract 2 from both sides, and 2 is less than or equal to x subtract 2 from both sides, and x is less than or equal to 6. So then when we graph it, we have a closed circle at 2 and a closed circle at 6, and x is larger than 2 and smaller than 6. Our next one is very similar. We're going to look at negative 5 is less than or equal to 2x plus 3, and 2x plus 3 is less than 9. Subtract 3 from both sides, and negative 8 is less than or equal to 2x. Divide by 2, and negative 4 is less than or equal to x. Subtract 3 from both sides, and 2x is less than 6. Divide by 2 and x is less than 3. So here we have a closed circle at negative 4 and x is greater than. Here we have an open circle at 3 and x is less than that. So this is our intersection. This is the information you need to do check it out number 2. Please pause here and try both of them now. With number two, we're solving this problem 
and this problem. Negative nine is smaller than x minus 10. I'm gonna add 10 to both sides, and one is smaller than x. I'm gonna add 10 to both sides of this, and x is smaller than five. So I have an open circle at one and an open circle at five. X is larger than one and smaller than five. Over here, I have negative four is smaller than or equal to three n plus five, and that is smaller than 11. Subtract five from both sides. I have negative nine is smaller than or equal to three n. Divided by three gives me a negative three here. 3n is smaller than 6 divided by 3 gives me an n is smaller than 2 here. So I have a closed circle at negative 3, an open circle at 2, n is smaller than 2 and greater than negative 3. So this is my graph here. Please make sure you ask if you have any questions at all. So what happens when our intersection does not overlap? That's called a union, which makes no sense to me, but it's where the answer combines two non-connected areas, and these are the or answers. Where before we had and, it had to be higher than 7.2 and lower than 7.6. These questions are or. For example, we have the problem, negative four plus a is larger than one, or negative four plus a is smaller than negative three. So we're gonna have to solve both problems. I'm gonna add four to both sides here. So I have a is larger than five, and I add four to both sides here, and I have a is smaller than one. When we go to graph this, I have an open circle on five, and a is larger than it, and an open circle on one, and a is smaller than it and that's our union. Our next problem, 2x is smaller than or equal to 6, or 3x is larger than 12. Divide both sides by 2, and x is smaller than or equal to 3. Divide both sides by 3, and x is larger than 4. So here I have a closed circle on 3, and x is smaller than it, and I have an open circle on 4, and x is larger than it. Make sense? And then the next thing they ask is, can you do it backwards? If I give you a graph, can you tell me what the equation is? I hear I have a closed circle on negative one, and, and our x is smaller than it, so we have x and negative one, and x is smaller than it, so the small side goes here, but it's also an equal to. Here I have a closed circle on seven, and x is larger than it, or equal to. And this is an or statement. This is an and statement. Here I have a zero with our x, and x is larger than zero or equal to because it's a closed circle. X is smaller than six, but not equal. You can write it like this or you can write them separately. Both are correct. Please do check it out, numbers three and four. Pause the video and come back when you're done. So check it out, number three. We subtracted two from both sides so that r is smaller than 10, or we subtracted five from both sides so that r is larger than 14. I have an open circle on 10 and 14. r is smaller here and larger there. Here we divide both sides by seven to get x is larger than or equal to three. We divide each side by two so that x is smaller than or equal to one. I have an open circle on negative one and x is smaller. I have a closed circle on three and x is larger. For number four, this graph gives me an open circle on negative nine and an open circle on negative two and x is in between them. 
Here I have a closed circle on negative 3 and a closed circle on positive 2 and x is smaller than negative 3 but larger than 2. You can also write that separately through two separate sentences. You can also write that as two separate sentences. Your homework for tonight is page 208, numbers 15 to 35. Please make sure you ask if you have any questions. There's a test coming up soon. We have one more section before our test, so make sure you understand everything that you're doing and that you show all of your work, please. Thank you much, and I'll see you tomorrow.